Hello everyone. This is Zhu Meiqi from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. It is my great honor to introduce our recent work on the Web Conference 2021. This work is under the guidance of Assistant Professor Wang Xiao, Professor Shichuan from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications, and Professor Cui Peng from Tsinghua University. I'd like to introduce our work mainly from the following five aspects. Very recently, GNN have received considerable attention on graph structure data learning for a wide variety of tasks. To date, many representative graph neural networks have been proposed, mainly follow a message passing pattern. For example, GCN make node features aggregate along one hope neighbors. SGC simplifies the non-layer transformation and make feature propagate along k hope neighbors. PPNP design propagation mechanism based on the personalized page rank. From this, we can see that the well-designed propagation mechanism is the most fundamental part of graph neural networks. Well, to better understand the propagation mechanism of graph neural networks, we first summarize the k-layer propagation process mainly as the following two forms. Here, we use egg and chance to represent the most important part doing propagation. We use the first line to represent graph neural networks which need layer-wise tra feature transformation. And we use the second line to represent deep graph neural networks which decouple the layer-wise transformation. We use the combination K to represent how to get the output embeddings. For example, directly use the last layer output or use the concatenation or attention to combine other layers output. Although there are various propagation mechanisms, they basically utilize network topology and the node feature for propagation. In view of this, we may rethink, is there a unified framework that governs the propagation mechanism of different graph neural networks? Can it bring new insights for new graph, new graph neural network designing? A real informed answer may help us understand the relationships of different graph neural networks and further motivate us to design more novel graph neural networks. And in our work, we focus on these questions and summarize the propagation mechanism of different graph neural networks into a unified optimization framework. This framework consists of two terms, and the learned representation can be viewed as the optimal solution by minimizing the objective. The first term is a feature fitting term, which flexibly encodes the information in feature H to the learned representation Z through designing different graph convolutional kernels F. Note that F1 and F2 here can be chosen from the I, all pass, A, low pass, or L, high pass convolutional kernels, and so on. The se second term is a graph Laplace regularization term, which constrain the learned representation of two connected nodes should be similar so that the homophily property of the graph can be captured. Using this unified framework, we then try to interpret several, several classical graph neural networks. Take PPNP as example. PPNP is designed from personalized page rank and separates the feature transformation process. The propagation of PPNP can be represented at this one. Furthermore, APPMP use a power interactive for approximation. 
and it has the following propagation with residual connection to the feature metric H. And actually, APPMP converts to PPMP when, when K tends to infinity. So we use this one objective to explain both of them. And then we list the proof process here. We said the derivative of the objective with respect to Z to zero, and then get the optimal Z as the propagation result of PPMP. We can also prove that the K-layer GCN or SGC has the following objective with just a graph regularization term where the graph convolution operator can also be summarized into our framework under this objective with first order approximation. Furthermore, we point out that deep graph neural networks like JKNight, DAGN can also fit into this framework where we assume that attention can be approximated by by the changeable coefficient, coefficient theta here and here. For more details, please find in our paper. For clarity, we conclude the overall relations between different GNN and the corresponding objective functions in this table. Based on the framework, we can, we can understand your relations much easier. For example, the objective for SGC only has a graph regularization term, while the objective for APPMP has both fitting term and graph regularization term. This difference shows that APPMP can additionally encode information from the original features, so it outperforms SGC on oversmoothing problems. On the other hand, our proposed framework opens up new insights for designing novel graph neural networks. All we need is to design objectives under this framework. Then the new graph neural networks can be naturally designed with one targeted objective. The newly designed model is more interpretable and more reliable. Here we use two examples to verify how to design new graph neural networks with our unified framework. Well, based on the unified framework, we can find that most of uh, GN require all original information in H to be encoded into Z. However, only considering one type of information is not enough. So in this section, we focus on designing normal F, F1 and F2 to encode more useful information. Considering that the metric A has the low-pass filtering capabilities, and we first build relations of H and Z in both original and low-pass filtering spaces. The objective is in the following, and we find two solutions to design new graph neural networks. We minimize the objective function to get a closed form so solution, and then we use the iterative approximation to get the um, interactive form solution. And uh, note that we can also find the relations between these solutions. We find that GNNLF with interactive form converts to closed form when k tends to infinity, and we prove this in our paper. Furthermore, similar with GNNLF, we now consider preserving the similarity of H and K in both original and high-pass filtering spaces. For neatness, we choose this one this following objective. And we also have the closed form and interactive form models, and they have similar relations. Here we come to the experiment. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed models, we conduct experiments on six benchmark data sites. We use 
we use accuracy metric for evaluation and compare our models with four kinds of state-of-art methods, just like shallow or deep graph neural networks, spectral and spatial graph neural networks. First, for node classification task, we can find that our proposed model GNLF or HF consistently outperform all of the state-of-the-art baselines on our data size, which show the effectiveness of our proposed models. And we further conduct experiments on propagation depths in view of the oversmoothing problems. And we find that GNLF or HF greatly solve the oversmoothing problem, while the performance does not drop when the depth increases. We further analyze the performance under different impact factors. Here is alpha, mu, and beta, and we show the heat map for accuracy with this data size here. And um, finally, we here come to the conclusion. We established the connection between different graph neural networks and a flexible objective optimization framework. This proposed, proposed unified framework provides a global view on understanding and designing different graph neural networks. And we further propose two novel graph neural networks with designed feature fitting term. Extensive experiments also show that the performance of these two new graph neural networks and show the feasibility of this framework. Well, that's for about this for my work and thanks for listening. For other results, you can find in this links. Thank you.